that there's these channels. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's day three of Dima. You can tell it's day three by the quality of my voice. Uh, this this always happens. I've just been talking for two days now, and you know that there's nothing I enjoy more than that, of course. My new best friend, Hergen, from Nordicam, is here. Uh, Hergen, what have you brought to Dima to show everyone? You know, we brought lots of new stuff this year. Uh, super exciting stuff for some underwater imaging gear. Um, probably the coolest, newest thing that we brought with us is what's called the Wide Angle Conversion Port 2, Ooh. or the WACP2. Hey, if that name doesn't already get you, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, the, the specs on it will. So um, about, I would say, a year and a half ago, we came out with the original WACP. And so it's a corrective uh, dry optic. So it's not a wet lens, it's a dry lens and it's actually a lens that sits in front of the actual camera lens and it creates a 130 degree field of view focuses right on the front glass super low profile um, and the, the distortion that it has because you know no lens is distortion free but the distortion that it had probably created some of the most natural looking underwater scenes right. um, it's it's a staff favorite all of our ambassador shooters that use it absolutely love it um, the content that we've gotten out of it is incredible um, so Edward back at home base, decided he wanted to up the game a little bit, and so this year we've got the WACP2. And with that WACP2, um, that's aimed at sort of the 16 to 35, which is, tends to be a more common lens that a lot of underwater shooters yeah. have. It's a good go-to. Um, yeah, and uh, also at the 14 to 30 for the Nikon Z. And what it does is at that 14, it actually gives you 140 degrees still focuses right on that front element. And unlike the original WACP, this one focuses in air. So that means we can use it for split shots. That means we can shoot it on land. Um, it's an absolutely incredible piece of kit. Uh, I can't wait to get it in the water. Um, I know we've got some out in the field. That was so good. Hopefully, my next yeah. We've got it in the yeah. water yet? Yeah, I haven't yet. Uh, literally just saw it for the first time, the first day of the show. So Very cool. super excited to see what comes out of that. Yeah, for um, sure. And also on that on that uh, optic front, we've also got our new WWLC. So the original WWL, similar to that WACP, except it's a wet optic, yep. and it was aimed at the compact and mirrorless uh, segment, and it created a with that 28 millimeter lens equivalent again created a 130 degree wide angle focus right on the front element, full zoom through optic. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. Um, it's one of my favorite lenses to shoot underwater and it worked on so many systems. But a lot of the compact cameras, those one inch sensor compact cameras, they kind of start out at 24 instead of 28. And so we, we re-engineered it a little bit, still keeping that 130 degree field of view, still keeping that uh, front, opt, uh, front, front, uh, front element focus, um, but we sort of, tightened up a little bit, a little bit more compact form factor, um, and it's designed to work on that 24 millimeter. That's cool. Um, and of course, that's on a bayonet mount, and we redesigned the bayonet mount a little bit, but no worries for those people who already have wet optics. Their previous wet optics will still work on that bayonet mount. And we're starting to uh, democratize a little bit. Even if you don't have an Autocam housing right now, if you have the Olympus PT058 or PT059, which is for that TG5, TG6, which yep. is an absolutely incredible underwater camera, um, we now make an adapter that you can use one of our optics we can use that new WWLC optic on that Olympus housing. That's great. So super excited to, to get this lens out to you know a lot more systems that yeah, way. That opens up a lot. That's yeah, really, that really opens good. up a lot. Uh, camera wise, what's impressed you 2019? What are you looking forward to 2020? Um, oh, 2020. Uh, I think everybody is looking forward to the 1DX Mark III uh, from Canon. It's gonna be uh, the 1DX, the 1DX Mark II has been uh, really a flagship for for underwater video, especially um, just in terms of the results that it's getting with the color and, and even the internal record quality of it was just exceptional. Um, so Canon's, Canon's got some big shoes to fill. Yeah. Um, I've heard from some folks at Canon that it's gonna be pretty awesome, so we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, I think there's gonna be some really neat stuff coming out this year. Um, it's really an exciting time, especially in the hybrid and also the video category, but even on the still side, Sony just upped the game with the A7R4 with over 60 megapixels. Um, so, you know, yeah. if you're a pixel peeper, that's that's going to be your weapon of choice for the year. Getting people salivating. Uh, yeah, yeah Panasonic just you know this year has dropped three amazing full format mirror, uh, full frame mirrorless cameras on us. Yep. The S1, the S1R, and the S1H. Sort of similar to that Sony dynamic with their A7 series. We've yep. got the S1H, which will shoot 6K internal. Yep. Um, the S1, which is sort of the one that does awesome you know 
10-bit 422 4K video, but also has uh, a nice sensor for still imaging. And then the S1R, which is their high resolution aimed at the still market. So again, you've got all three of those cameras. Yeah, so it's gonna be super exciting. It's, it's really neat how that dynamic is kind of shaking out. So. And what I'm really excited about is Panama, uh, with Panasonic, as you know, I'm shooting on a GH5, yeah. is they seem to be bringing up, not their, their ancient cameras, but they, they're constantly doing firmware updates. Absolutely, yeah. and, and increasing, so when you buy into the Panasonic system, you're, you know you're gonna be looked after. In the same way that kind of Apple looks after their computers, if you're an old one, you know that the software's always gonna be updated, you're gonna be able to run the latest operating right. systems, and they're increasing the specs of the camera that you might have bought two years ago. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because, up a little more because they're leaping ahead with the S1s and the full frames yeah. that they're going into yeah. now. So super exciting to see. Happy yeah. days. Hogan, thank you so much for your time. Thanks Appreciate so much, it. Guys. Enjoy Thanks the rest of your show. By. Yeah, good luck. Cheers. <laughs> Next up, I'm in the Sea Life booth with my new best friend, Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay, what have Sea Life brought to Dima? What have you got to show me? What's new? Well, our main thing that we're really proud of and excited is our ReefMaster Arm 4K camera. This little guy is meant to be the action camera that you need for underwater. It's going to be there for you. It has built-in color correction modes, so you don't have to worry about putting filters on. It's just going to do it for you. It's automatic, nice and simple. It has a wide 140-degree lens to get everything in the picture. It's just a great, it has a nice ergonomic grip as well. So when you're underwater, like a GoPro is a little small. We wanted to make something that is just meant for water only and that's simply what you would use it for. Absolutely, so 4K resolution? Yep, 4K 30 frames per second video. Perfect. Um, very excited about that. Absolutely, and then that's available as the camera itself or with a mount kit with a tray, single arm and the light? Yes it is, you can get it by itself or you can get it with a light and a kit so you have everything you need right here a nice grip, you can hold it. It's just a perfect, it's a perfect delve into underwater photography and videography. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I don't like to quote prices here because this goes out across the world and you have to check where you live, what your local pricing is. But I will tell you that here in the States, you can get the Sea Life action camera, the tray and the light for the same price as just the camera in some other action camera brands, names that won't be mentioned. <laughs> uh, no, I love that. I think that's awesome. Um, it's got Sea Life's build quality, which is fantastic. Thanks. And because you guys are experts, and underwater. Um, I'm sure the picture quality is great. Um, would love to take one underwater and test it one day, do a shootout with it, oh, something definitely. like that. We'll get that to happen. So with the Reef Master, this is our first item where the whole box is completely free of single-use plastics and recyclable. And we're very excited about that and proud that we've, we were able to do that. Yeah. Lindsay, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate yeah, it. Have a great rest of your DEMA show. You as well. Thank, thank you. you. I'm here with my new best friend Robin from Backscatter. You probably know Robin if you if you are subscribed to my channel. There is no reason why you wouldn't be subscribed to the Backscatter channel because it's fantastic. Congratulations on all your success there. Thanks, man. Uh, what's new at DEMA, Robin? What you got? The big thing that we're most excited about this year is the new mini flash and optical snoot combo. We wanted to make a flash that was going to be really friendly for compact camera shooters and super easy to use. Or if you want to take it up a little bit farther and get some really cool precision lighting out of it, you can snap on the optical snoot, which is the brightest and easiest to use snoot ever. Uh, so it's really cool whether you just got a camera and want a flash that's going to be great for your fish portrait to medium kind of wide angle down to macro, or you want to get super, super precise and create some really neat black backgrounds and pinhole lighting, snap on the snoot and it's pretty awesome. It is super cool and I got to see you do a presentation of this yesterday. What I really liked about it was the interchangeable aperture cards. Yeah. So you can get different angles and, and still keep that sharp beam focus even if you're coming from a side or from a diagonal. When you combine that too with the super bright target light that's built into there, yes. it replaces the need for a separate focus light. It's bright enough to see what it's doing and gives you that real-time preview. You see exactly what your flash beam is going to light and hit. It's, it's pretty slick. Then you can dial down all the rest of your controls and get that nice jet black background and just that pinpoint. I love it. Exactly. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Simple power dial, one to six. It's like you just walk in the shot and man, you're good to go. Awesome. Uh, you've got some new stuff in the flip range, is that right? Yeah, that's right. We've got our Flip 7 over here we can take a look at. Yeah, let's head over there. This is the uh, the Flip 7 range? This is Flip 7, yeah. So, Fantastic. you know, of course, GoPro has just released the Hero 8, so we'll be coming out with Flip 8, but we need a few more weeks to finalize that. We've okay. got a little a prototype frame working now, but because they've changed the design of the housing so much, we've had to retool the flip frame, so more details on that are coming soon. But for now, we're still rocking Flip 7, which is awesome. It's really the best color correction 
and uh, macro lens system for GoPro cameras. Here we've got it on the Isoda uh, housing for a Hero 7, which is cool because flip frame works directly on their housing. But it's also designed to work natively with every GoPro housing. So whether you got a three, four, five, six, seven, flip seven just works straight on there. Um, the basic idea being that it is a dual flip frame, so you can have either two color correction filters or color filter and a macro lens, or even you know two of our other specialty lenses on there. Set it up for whatever you need for your dive. Put it on a double handle tray, add a couple of lights. We like the light and motion solos because they're compact and easy to use. Throw it on a tripod, and now we can pretty much shoot anything in the ocean with our GoPro. You know what I mean? And you've got a quality camera rig there. You're going to get really you know results. You're really going to be happy with. For That's the way to go. But not very much money. Yeah, our three filter kit and our pro pack, you get three filters for our shallow dive and deep range. So pretty much any blue water conditions, you're covered. We also have our green water filter for when we're diving and stuff like back home at Monterey or your quarry or your lake or that sort of thing. Macromate mini lens allows you to shoot about three inches away from your subject and shoot it in sharp focus. So hey, what more could you ever want to do? I love this thing. I think it's perfect. I mean, like I said, for the money and, and with the specs that you get with the GoPro these days, they're just going crazy 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 every re new release uh it's it's such an awesome setup i really love it getting easier every year to make great compelling underwater video from your gopro system you know and the other cool thing we've been doing seminars in our booth every hour yeah. um, talking about a lot of topics but especially best accessories for gopro and how to get the best results from your gopro so it's cool we get to kind of get hands on with the gear in the booth and then turn right around and talk about how to use it it's uh, very cool are you going to throw those videos up on your channel um i think so yeah we'll great. see yeah i don't know exactly how many Many of them got recorded. Some it was kind of spur of the moment, pop up seminar, had to be there, you know. But we'll see how that goes. Well, in any case, I will link to Robin's channel and the Backscatter Crew in the description of this video below. So you're not going to want to miss that. Like I said, if you're subscribed to my channel, there is no reason why you shouldn't be subscribed to Robin's because it's awesome. I learned so much from you. Thank you for your content. I appreciate it all the time. Of course. And uh, thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, James. Great. So next up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm at Kelden Lights here. Uh, this is my new best friend, Daniel, who has come all the way from Switzerland to uh, Dima here. Um, Daniel, what's new with Kelden? Yes, hello. I would like to show you our latest development, which is a wireless remote control. You can see no wire, no, no fiber optics. It's an acoustic system which works with ultrasonic, and you can control the light with a uh, one button we have actually two channels you can operate on two channels individually and you can uh, do a pairing of a light to one of this channel and i show it to you very quickly you can go to a pairing mode and then you can rotate one of these two buttons it's now channel one the light confirms by flashing that it has understood the pairing code now i can go back to the regular mode and and now it's responding to channel one, but no more to channel two. There you go. That's awesome. Uh, you guys are the only ones that have anything like this. I've never seen anything like this before. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, that's uh, our unique invention. All right. And more about the controller. Uh, negatively buoyant, positively buoyant? Slightly negative. Slightly yes. negative. Perfect. All right, great. Uh, and then you've also made some updates to your light range as well, right? Right, right. yes. The we have the 4X light, which is now at 10,000 lumen. Before it was at 9,000 lumen. And we have increased the color rendering index to from 82 to 86. Wow, okay. And we have the two 8X versions. One is increased from 15,000 lumen to 17,000 lumen, with an increase of the color rendering index from 82 to 86 as well. Perfect. And the version for um, especially for macro photography with a super high color rendering index of 96. Oh, that's impressive. That's awesome. There we have 13,000 lumen. Fantastic. Um, but the bodies don't look any bigger. So is that an upgrade to the electronics and the LED? Yeah, uh, the battery remains the same, but right. we have uh, a new and a better LED and we slightly increased uh, the power. So the runtime is slightly uh, shorter than the version before. Um, let's see what filters you got to go on these lights. Yes, we have ambient. We have ambient light filters. The purpose of the ambient light filter is to simulate exactly the same light spectrum as you have 
in water at a specific depth. Yeah. This avoids the mixed light condition. If you have your camera wide balanced to the ambient light and then you turn on your wide video light, it will get a reddish tint yes. because the camera has enhanced the red channel. In order to avoid this mixed light problem, you can adapt your light to emit exactly the same kind of spectrum as the ambient light. So the light will have a bluish light, but it, it will exactly match with the ambient light. And if you do the white balance of your camera to the ambient light, this light will not get red anymore. Yeah, perfect. That's awesome. Um, Daniel, thank you so much for your time. I'm a thank massive fan you. of your work. I've got nice you. lots of friends on YouTube who use your lights as well. Um, so just great to meet you and uh, put a face to the name. Yes, so, thank you. Thanks for your time. Have a great rest of your show. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, it's precious. Stay in our hotel room. No, Spiegel, not give a big video. No, Spiegel, sleep. Diver's ready. Meet my new best friend, John from Ike Light. Uh, John, how's your demon going, mate? Oh, it's fantastic. We're having a great time. Just right. rocking out. <laughs> What's new with Ike Light? What have you brought to Dima this year? What are you showcasing? We've got a brand new strobe here. Uh, it's the next step in the evolution of the DS-160-161. 35% uh, more powerful, chrome-plated reflector, higher output, same color temperature, same recycle time. Uh, you can use your battery packs so that you've had before. Uh, so that's going to be a nice step in the, in the world of strobes. Oh, nice. Great for anyone looking to upgrade. I love it when you guys continue a battery pack. Nobody likes buying batteries. No, they do not. Um, and then we also have the SL3, which uh, you're not going to find a better price to performance ratio on the market. Uh, absolutely phenomenal little camera, over a thousand shots. Uh, you can do a wide variety of lenses, Tokina 10 to 17. Yep. Um, and it has an integrated TTL circuit, so the camera will communicate with our strobes. Let's talk cameras. What, what's been your favorite gear from 2019, and what are you looking forward to in 2020? Yeah, we really like the Nikon Z67, yes. um, the new Sony A7R4, the A92. Uh, looking forward to next year, maybe Canon getting a little bit more heavy into the full frame mirrorless stuff. Yeah. Um, and of course, keeping up with all the models. So, and ports and lenses and arms and accessories. So was, we do it all. Yeah. John, thank you so much for your time. Certainly. Have a great rest of your show. Anytime. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah. So this is where I tested it in Hong Kong, like really crappy. So if you just did one step up. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, I'm here at Isotto with my new best friend, Simon. Uh, he's got some exciting new strobes. Uh, I'm a lighting geek, I love this stuff. What have you brought to Dima for us? So these are the uh, new strobes, the Red 64, soon to, when it's launched, going to be the most powerful strobe in the market. 64 stands for guide number outside of the water. Right. So 64 is the guide number outside of water. If you want to compare it with an Inon 330, it's got 33 guide number outside of the water. This one actually has guide number 22 inside the water, which will make it the strongest or amongst the strongest strobes in the market. Very cool. You say uh, when this will be released, when, when will that be? Beginning of February 2020 is the first delivery. So so it's, uh, people are already getting in line to get the first strobes. Um, what you got here is a kit that particularly wide angle through the S are going to like. It's got an extremely wide beam. I'll demonstrate to you later how that beam will look. But yeah. It's ex extremely wide, 130 degree beam, oh, cool. yeah, which means even with a single strobe, you could light up this entire thing, even though you're really, really close to it. So that's really useful. That's because we're using a ring flash. Yeah. So we got a ring flash in this reflector disc, yep. and that gets a very, very crisp and very, very wide light. What you also get is a very, very fast recycling speed. So if you were shooting at um, three-quarter power, so like so 11, or, yeah, yep. 11 or even 16, you can shoot, hang on, the screen needs to be on, you can shoot with extreme fast. Oh, wow, that recycles yeah. real quick, yeah. huh? And that's, at 16, you can do it like that. Even at 22, the maximum, you can get about four shots in one second before it has to warm up again, yeah, that's which awesome. means that moment where the shark swims by, you can get that in real crisp. Yeah. Another huge advantage compared to other big strobes, yeah, most... Small strobes work with double A's, and the big strobes have their proprietary battery packs where you always yeah. have to buy an extra pack, and when it breaks, you're, you're stranded. These also work with double A batteries, so oh, just cool. eight. Yeah, so there's eight in there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, okay. so that's a huge advantage. We've got double O-rings. As always, Isotta has double O-rings everywhere, so you see there's two O-rings on here, and that makes it a very safe system. 
That is awesome. There's a couple extra things. We've got um, not only white fo focus light, but also red focus light. Okay. So that's built in already. Uh, we've got that. We've got TTL with sync cords, but also with fiber optical cables. So we've got that covered. Um, and yeah, with one uh, set of batteries, you can do 400 shots at 22 or 800 at 11, which is a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. Simon, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of the show. Welcome.